Hello, I am Jeff Wise Cars. It's another windy day and another Volvo. This is going to be a quick video because my phone battery is about to die, but what a sunset we are about to have here in Worcestershire. So I'm going to show you very briefly what this car is all about and why I bought it because there is a plan. This is part one. This may be a three part series. Might be four, might be five. We shall see. Right, I'm going to show you the car very quickly. Ignore all the noise, again, it's bad location for a video, but I just thought Russian tank, pretty appropriate, isn't it? Anyway, here's my Swedish tank. It's a V70 T5 manual. Um, it's on a P-Reg, so it's 1996, and it is um, on the Liverpool pathway, unfortunately. What an idiot. Um, this video might be terrible because of the road noise, but we'll find out, and it's what you've got, so we'll suck it up. It's on the Liverpool pathway. The engine has been diagnosed as terminal and uh basically it needs an engine rebuilt which is why i've been able to buy it cheap it also came from a friend of mine um sam who i did some fundraising for and uh we gave them a car for free last year more on that another time i don't want to talk about all that now but there's loads of cool bits on this car despite the fact that the engine is bad and the body is bad it's got powder coated wheels it's got fresh tires it's got discs it's got pads it's got calipers all of which seem to be pretty fresh but the paint is awful I've got lacquer coming, coming off really badly on this um, wing here. I've got the world's noisiest video is carrying on. I've got uh, rusty wings at the front here. I've got damage on the bumper. I've got some scuff in there. I've got all this stuff. I don't even know what that is. I've got 3D number plates and, sorry, 4D number plates. And no one yet has managed to work out what the fourth dimension is. I think it's time. Again, this bumper's bad. This wing is creased and rusting down this side um this door's all right but this panel this back panel it must have had paint at some point in its life um to warrant that perhaps it was rear-ended so we've got a dent there we've got lack of peel here and we've got damage here so all in all what do you do with a car that needs an engine and has got terrible paint well i've got a plan um i'm going to nick all the good bits off it basically and it's going to donate all of its organs to um my various other cars. The headline is no good, but that doesn't matter. Um, but everything else pretty much will will be donated to either my race car or um, or various other vehicles that I have in my current collection. Inside's really quite nice, to be fair. So these seats might end up going in the race car, I'm not sure yet, but that's it. That's my T5. Um, nice, rare, black car, which is pretty cool. But as I say, it's a, it's an end of life car, and I was offered it because of who I am. With it, because of who I am, that sounded stupid. But um, basically, it's a friend of a friend, and they wanted it to go to good home. They didn't want to see it scrapped, and they knew that I would do something worthwhile with it. And I have a worthwhile plan. Right, there's a motorbike on a stick. There's a Russian tank. Let's go and have a look. And it's called Boris as well. This tank is called Boris. Please do not touch or damage Boris. The tank commander, you can do what you like to the other one, he's a bell end. Um, right, so there we go. Russian tank, Swedish tank. Right, that was a quick video, and I must have said the word right about 8,000 times, but my battery's still going, so I'll carry on. Very, very cool plan for this car. Watch this space, or well, don't watch this space, watch these videos. Oh, look, the bonnet's naff as well, see? All lack of peel all over the bonnet. So the bonnet, both wings, the front bumper, and the rear panels, the rear quarter panels. And that's before you even put an engine in it. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching this very short and probably very noisy video. It actually drives really well. The, um, hang on, I'll flip, I'll flip the camera around a sec. Right, so it, it does actually drive really well. The general diagnosis, and it has been to a Volvo specialist, is that there is low compression across all the cylinders. I mean, it's 198,895 miles and Volvos are up for that. But what it means is it means that it needs a whole engine rebuild basically to get its power back. It's hesitating on acceleration. That's why I went to the garage and the garage said, your engine's goosed. So it runs and drives fine and it's just been MOT'd and there's loads of cool bits on it. But if you add the fact that it needs an engine to the fact that it needs a complete respray and some front wings, suddenly you start thinking, well, is it worth it? And it's a difficult one. I don't like wasting cars. I don't like taking cars off the road that don't need to be taken off the road. But with this one, I don't want to spend the money putting an engine in it. I don't want to, I don't want to pay for a full respray. 
And at the moment, I've got like so many other Volvos that will benefit from the parts that come off this car. So sad as it is, it's gonna, um, it's gonna live an interesting life. But if you want to see this car, in theory, if nothing goes wrong, it will be on display at the Practical Classics restoration show. And you might be saying, why are you displaying an old rusty Volvo that has nothing special? Well, maybe I'm about to do something special that warrants it being a show car. I've got a very, very quick turnaround on this one. I've got about a week to get this done. Uh, right, leave that with me. There's a plan.